Hey, Sound and Groover here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a demo on how I do noise gate for my electronic music. Now, noise gate is an effect, it's a plugin that is used to either reduce noise or to eliminate it. And this could be room noise, this could be ground noise or floor noise any unwanted energy that the microphone may pick up. And this is used primarily for podcasts and radio and anything that includes the spoken word because we want that clear, clean signal for when the, the speaker is speaking. But we can also do it for creative purposes as well. And I use noise gate for rhythmic variance and nuance. So let's just dive right in. But before we do that, I wanted to announce that my first electronic track, Sheer, is released and out now on Spotify. I'm happy to provide that in the description below, and there's plenty of noise gate implemented there. So I'm just gonna show you how I do this technique. So let's have a listen to this chord progression I just made up. Uh, it's rather tacky and it's got a synth wave vibe. So uh, yeah, let's, let's have a listen. So it's got promise, it's got color, but if you wanted to add some energy to it, you, you want to add some rhythm to it. And sure, we can chop up this MIDI data and just kind of reorganize it, but why not do it more uh, intuitive way, more practical way? So let's go ahead and do that. So noise gate is going to need an external audio source, an external audio signal, and this could be any audio. But for now, for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and go into our loop library here that is provided for when you purchase Logic Pro, our loop browser, as it's called. And I have a selection of instruments here. You can go from instrument to genre and descriptors, but I, I really just stick with instrument and I really just stick with beats. So let's have a listen. Um, we can just start with a accelerate beat. It's got a bit of punch, but it is a little bit muddy in between that, uh, between the, the strong beats. That definitely has more punch and a lot more uh, transients popping out. Uh, but I actually do like a float beat, just actually just for the beat, but uh, it's also got great rhythm. So let's go ahead and use that. You can simply just pull this icon and drag it over here. And exit by just clicking on this icon here. Let's just have a listen to it uh, with, the, with both tracks together. Okay, at first it made me so happy, but then you get the hey hey and, and kind of the beats, uh, not my thing, but it may add some good nuance, rhythmic nuance for our purposes here. So let's go ahead and mute this track. And for here, we're going to add our plugin noise gate. And I have it right here, but you can also find it under dynamics and noise gate down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over these parameters. Let's start with our threshold. So the closer you get to zero dB, the less is allowed to pass through. This is noise and this is also audio signals. So if there's any noise, if there is 
any audio signal that is below negative 17, negative 18 dB, that is not permitted to pass through. Now this can be completely shut off like a gate, this is noise gate, uh, by reducing it to negative 100 dB, or this can be softly shut off, I believe. So maybe, you know, a negative eight decibel reduction there. So we'll, we'll play around with those values when we get to it. And we'll start with negative 50. Now the hysteresis, I believe it's called, uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. I think it has to do with lag, so we'll just play with those values and, and see, but I don't really mess with it. I just keep it at negative dB there. Now, you can see here, open and close, and this will be lit every time the gate is open, and uh, close will also be lit every time the gate is shut. So attack, I believe, is really how fast the gate starts to open. I believe that is the case and for something really rhythmic and really sharp and poignant I keep the attack at three milliseconds maybe up to eight or ten milliseconds but nothing beyond that um, but I also like soft attacks as well and for hold I, I generally keep it at the def default um, maybe 40 maybe 30 I don't go past 80 or 100 and the release, I believe, is how fast the gate opens back up when audio signal comes through. Audio signal that is permitted. I believe that's what that is for. Now for band pass, you're more than welcome to use this, but I rarely use this for a MIDI instrument track. Although it could be helpful for um, a room noise or, or some type of environment that would need a band pass filter of some sort. So let's go ahead and take a listen with our uh, default values. So maybe uh, going back down to 20, 21 milliseconds release and 40 here. And we will include our external audio source. As you can see, it's like a side chain here. All right, let's go ahead and have a listen and play with some values. Well, that was pretty cool. That kind of reminded me of a, a cutoff ramping up, but it was noise reduction or lack thereof. That's pretty cool. Um, so that, that was pretty fun. Um, but I did forget to mention that the noise gate really is effective depending on where you put it in 
the plugin chain. So as you can see here, our noise gate is at the bottom, right after channel EQ. So let's go ahead and have a listen when we set it before the channel EQ. Right, not so bad, but I personally like it before reverb and even before delay. So let's try it with reverb, see if we can hear any difference. Alright, so that was quite nice, um, but I believe it's even more effective when you put it before the delay, and we'll hear why. Hopefully we'll hear why. All right, so um, at the release of the delay, you should be able to hear that noise gate. So not only is the audio signal, this MIDI instrument, uh, this MIDI data, not only is that ha been given a delay, the noise gate is actually kind of embedded inside the delay, so it's more effective. So let's see if we can hear that a little bit more. So yes, I heard it at that very, uh, that very end, at the tail there. So I think that's pretty cool. So I usually put my noise gate before the delay and before reverb. Hopefully uh, that is enough to uh, draw from and, uh, and, and hopefully that inspires you to do noise gate in creative ways for your music. Thanks always for watching and listening and always be on the lookout for sound experimentation every Thursday. And I appreciate you watching. Until next time, thanks again.